<laughs> Wait, the newlywed game's out? Oh, thank you. So I have, I have like a little hoop right here, little snake, and then I got this one pierced recently, so it's like the little stud and then just gold hoops. And then on this side, I have like a little like diamonds, kind of like cluster diamond stud, a hoop, a little diamond that I got pierced recently, and then another hoop. Um, someone said. Yeah, the pillow is great. Like, I really want to find some cozy pillows that are also, like, cute. These are fine, but they're not, like... There's so many cute pillows, so... But they're so soft that I prefer comfort. But I would like to find both if I could. Um, I would love to go to Jingle Ball. I plan to... I really want to see um, Dua Lipa. Dua Dua. Um, um, S. Joe Bros was really funny. It was like cute and sweet and funny. Um, Becca, I think this is probably the longest I've gone without changing my hair, because, but I'm very, I'm getting very anxious to change my hair, so I don't know how much longer it'll last, but I think one thing is that, um, Like, I'll, I'll want to change it, and then I'll have a good hair day, and it's just like, all right, I'll keep it, you know? Anyways, it's been a while. It's almost been a year. Well, December will be a year since I changed it. Um, someone said something else. Oh, my lip product right now, I think I, I mean, I haven't put anything on in a couple hours, but I think it's, what did I put on? I put on... Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, and then Tarte Maracuja, I think is how you say it, Maracuja uh, Juicy Lip Color from Tarte in Rose, but now it's just faded, so this is what it's faded to. Um... Oh, Carly, that makes me so happy. I love the name Tilly. Like, I love the name Tilly outside of it being my name, so. <laughs> um, Katie, I don't know if I'd go to the moon tomorrow if I could. Like, I love being in my bed, and I love eating good food, and space is kind of, like, scary to me. Like, I don't have a crazy interest to go. I think Haley would, though. So, she'd probably be a more exciting person to ask that question to. Um, oh, I am Elizabeth Ash. The Mexican pizza is so good. Oh, wait, Sarah. Okay, my eyebrows. I was filming a story today and I was so irritated over my eyebrows. So I really appreciate that compliment because they're driving me crazy and I want to just buzz them, buzz them off, which probably that wouldn't be a good idea either. Um, oh, Melanie, thanks for listening to the podcast. Welcome to the scrubbing in community. This necklace is, this was a gift from Haley for my 30th birthday, and it's from a place in Beverly Hills, it's called 14 Carat. Mm, it's like my everyday necklace. Um, oh, whoa, I'm so far behind, holy moly. <laughs> My bread bread was delicious. 
I got so many messages letting me know that non is bread. So I didn't need to say non bread, but that's, that's just something I learned today. <laughs> um, my favorite thing about being an influencer, probably, I mean, there's a lot. There's, I love, um, I mean, I, I love getting to, I, I get to do so many cool things that I would never get to do. Um, I love getting to travel and see new places. And then I love connecting with people that I would never get to connect with otherwise. Um, and I love, I mean, there's few things not to love, but, um, those are a few of my favorite things. I got so distracted by my TV just as I go. I'm not even watching thing. There was just like a, like a preview. Okay. I'm not going to look over there anymore. Um, Haley, I don't know where Haley, Haley is like running all these errands today. She told me all of them, but I don't know which one she's at right now. <laughs> okay, I haven't created any new sandwiches. However, I was thinking about doing turkey, like little Hawaiian roll turkey sandwiches in the air fryer, making them like crispy on Hawaiian rolls. That sounds really good. Um, oh my gosh, another scrubber all the way from Kuwait. That is the coolest thing. What? That is so awesome. Hi, Christy. That's my cousin, Christy. Um, okay, I technically, I don't know if this means I have... Um, oh, hold on, before I go into this, how do you, someone's, uh, JD skills, how do you eat fast food and stay in shape? Every time I eat McDonald's, I feel bad, but wish I didn't. Okay, are you talking about, phys like, you, like, your stomach hurts and you feel bad, or, like, you feel bad about yourself? Because if you, if your stomach physically hurts, then you probably shouldn't eat it, because it's not, I mean, it's not worth it to feel sick about, but if you feel bad, like, mentally about your body... And this is what I was thinking about today because I was, I was like about to eat that naan and the mozzarella and the tomato soup. And I was like, man, I should have like a more like nutritious lunch. And I probably should have, I should eat a little more nutritious, at least balance it out. But I was thinking, you know what? We get one life and we're just a small, tiny speck during this life. That's all we are. And Am I going to look back on my life and be like, man, I wish I had eaten a salad or not eaten the bread and the cheese that was delicious? No, we're not going to do that. So yeah, there's a way of like balancing it out and making sure that you give your body good stuff too. But also eat things that you enjoy without feeling the guilt about them. Because the whole part of it is enjoying it. So if you feel guilty about it, then you're not getting the full experience. And I know it's easier said than done, especially with like how we um, are taught in society of like how we're supposed to look and how our clothes are supposed to fit. But I do think there's a healthy balance of like properly treating ourselves to what our body needs as like fuel and also enjoying ourselves too. So that's a little bit about what I was thinking about. And and if you meant that you felt sick, then <laughs> scrap what I said and don't eat McDonald's. But um <laughs> um some I've never watched Virgin River, but I've heard... Oh, you meant bloated and guilt. Okay, if you feel bloated, that's... The bloat will go away most of, most of the time. The bloat will go away. But the guilty part is what I was talking about, so... <laughs> um, 
Oh, Sid, Sid's Kim or Sid's, yeah. Have you had the bite size sour airheads? Yes, I have. And they like destroyed, destroyed like my tongue. They were, I ate them so fast. I need y'all to see. So Phoebe was digging in my purse earlier. And then I noticed she had something on her head and she wanted let me grab it. She ran away from me, but she just came up and looked. What's on your head? <laughs> it's a tag. Oh no, that's really stuck on there, huh? Oh no, that is stuck. I'm gonna have to get the scissors out. Phoebe. I thought she, <laughs> at first I was like, did you put a bow in your head? And then I was like, how would you put a bow on your head? You got some, you got something stuck on your head. <laughs> Mm. Uh, wait. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that guess what my Friday looks like is I'm gonna be giving her a haircut, a little haircut on the top of the head. Cause me trying to pull that out, she's gonna do the most dramatic squeal, and I'm not gonna push y'all through that. Can y'all still hear me? Can you still hear me? <laughs> Wait, can y'all hear me? Okay. Um, sometimes if I like pause the video, it will come back and you can't. My sound doesn't work anymore. I was going to say I'm on 2%. So, my phone might die. But, I will stay on here until it dies. We will go down together. Um, okay, thanks for letting me know, you guys. Um, I get, not this guy, I get cute aggression with Phoebe to the point where, and Haley, where I like, sometimes think I chipped my teeth. Like, I always think I may have chipped my tooth. My Okay, here's the thing, though. I'm so comfy. My charger's all the way in my room, and it won't reach. I do have a long one. I do have a long one, but that would make me have to get up. Um... If you didn't go with Haley, do you think you would find out you're into girls? That's a great question. What's the thing like? That's a great question. I guess we'll never know. Okay, I just have to let y'all know that Christelle, who was on, she just joined the live. She was on Great British Bake Off and she was like our favorite. And then I followed her on Instagram and every now and then we DM or talk through comments and I get so excited because she's, like, the best. <laughs> um, wait, what was that? What's about that? <laughs> top three songs not Taylor Swift. Uh, okay, top three songs not Taylor Swift. There's just so many amazing songs that to narrow it down to three is, I don't know, it's too hard, but I would have to say, I think Yellow by Coldplay is one of them. Um, my phone might die before I get to the other two. I don't know, I'll think about it, see what comes to my mind. Oh, Somebody Else 1975 is so good. Wow. That is such a good song. And it's so sad. And that's a feeling I feel like we've all felt of like dating someone who maybe we didn't want or like it wasn't working, but there was nothing particularly wrong with them, but you don't want to see them. 